Water is the major important source during construction of the building. Not only during construction of the building, once the construction is completed, water supply is the major source for the function of the building. Without proper water supply, the building function cannot happen in a proper way. So for the main source of the water, we need to go for the bore well or we have to depend on the another source of water like a corporation water or well and so on. So now we have the source of water and how do we store that? We, we have to go for underground sump and overhead tank for the proper water supply for the building. Always you may have a question that yeah I am going to construct the building and uh, I don't know how to arrive the capacity of the water tank. For example, I have a 4060 site in which I am going to construct a duplex house but I don't know how much capacity of water tank I need to construct. This is the common question everybody has in their mind. Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. In this video, let's discuss the answer for that question everybody has in their mind. Let's discuss how to find out the capacity of water tank. How do we find out the size of the water tank? How to find out the cost breakup for the construction of water tank and cost of construction per liter capacity of water tank? Everything we will discuss in detail. Please do watch the video till the end without skipping. So without any further delay, let's begin. First, let's start with the capacity of water tank. The first question will come to your mind is you are going to construct a building. How many people are going to live in that building? That is the first question has to come in your mind. Then water consumption per day per person. So these two questions are very very important to find out the capacity of the water. Tank. How many people are living and water consumption per day per person. So as per the Ministry of Housing and Affairs, 135 litre per capita per day has been suggested as the benchmark for urban water supply. So 135 litre per day per person is the water consumption as per urban water supply. So now we got the answer for the second question that is water consumption. First question is how many people are living. So six persons are going to live in that house. So we know how many people are living. What is the water consumption? So 135 litre per day per person. 135 litre includes all the water per day per person. 135 litre is the amount of water which a person going to spend in one day. Okay, now we know how many people and what is the water consumption if we multiply that we get the quantity so for six person six multiplied by 135 we get 810 liters per day approximately we can take thousand liters per day for six persons we require thousand liters of water per day usage so this is how you have to find out the capacity we know 1000 liters of water we require per day for 6 persons. So how do we store this water? We store this water in an overhead tank. If we require 1000 liters of water, we can go up to 1500 liters of capacity of overhead tank and we can store the water. If we go for 3000 liters or 4000 liter capacity, then it is of waste because we require very less amount of water usage. If we store more water, what happens? The water will become impure and it will not be good to use. How do we store the water in underground tank? How do we find out the capacity of under, underground tank? In underground, in underground sump, we always store the water from bore well or corporation water or any other water source. So always it is good to have the underground water tank which is two to three times more than the overhead tank. Because if you your bore well will become repaired or if you don't get water from corporation properly then what happens you will be facing problem with water shortage you have to store two to three times more than the water whatever required per day so here thousand liter per day we require two to three times more than that means like so here i'm taking three thousand liter capacity of underground water tank underground sump so this is how you have to find out the water tank capacity overhead tank as well as underground sump. Next, let's find out the size of the water tank. We know the capacity is 3000 liters. One CFT will consume 28.3 liters of water. One CFT is one cubic feet. One cubic feet is the volume like one feet, one feet, one feet, one feet length, one feet width and one feet height. This much of tank can store up to 28.3 liters of water. Then 
we can find out the capacity for 3000 liters so for 3000 liters we need 106 cft this is the volume we required to store 3000 liters of water the volume of the tank is 106 cubic feet capacity is 3000 liters let's consider the depth as 5 feet area is equal to volume divided by depth from this we can find out the area that is 21.2 square feet length is equal to 2 times the width is always good to have the length of the water tank as twice the width of the water tank area is equal to l multiplied by b from this we can find out the width width of the water tank is 3 feet 6 inches l is equal to 2b so we know width is 3 feet 6 inches from this we can find out the length as well that is 7 feet depth is 5 feet so we have arrived the size of the water tank length is 7 feet width is 3 feet 6 inches depth is 5 feet so from this we can find out the volume that is 122.5 cft so one cft can consume 28.3 liters so the capacity of water tank whatever the size we have arrived is 1000 sorry 122.5 multiplied by 28.3 which consumes 3406 6.75 liters let's make it as a 3500 liters width is 3 feet 6 inches height is 5 feet and length is 7 feet so this is the size of the water tank so this size can consume the water of 3500 liter next let's look into the cost for the construction of water tank we have two types of water tank one is rcc water tank next one is brickwork with rcc water tank in rcc water tank we provide double mat reinforcement and the wall is constructed with the concrete in brickwork with rcc water tank the outer layer is made with brickwork and the inner layer will made with the concrete for example if we have a wall thickness of 9 inches the outer four and half inches will be made with brickwork and the inner layer four and half inch thickness will be constructed with the rcc reinforced cement concrete work so these two methods are recommended because we invest more money to construct these kind of water tanks it has to serve its purpose during the lifetime of the building the main purpose of water tank is to store the water without any problem during the lifetime of the building if we don't use proper method of construction what happens the walls may get crack or damages during the usage of the water tank the water from the water tank start to leak also there are chances of outside water passing through the crack or damages in the wall and mix with inside water then the inside water will become dirty with the mud so in order to avoid these kind of problems we have to use the proper method of construction with good quality of materials now let's see the cost breakup for water tank RCC water tank capacity is 3500 liter. First, let's see the cost breakup for RCC water tank and then let's see the cost breakup for RCC with brickwork. The size of the tank is this is outer dimension, this is 5 feet, width is 5 feet, length is 8 and a half feet, and height is 6 feet. First, let's see the earthwork excavation. For excavation, we require 2250 rupees for this size of water tank. For laying PCC, we need 1600 rupees that includes cement and sand cost. Next, concrete. For concreting, we require 16,730 rupees. Bottom slab that includes bottom slab, side walls, and top slabs. So, the concrete materials are cement, sand, and aggregate. So, altogether, we need 16,730 rupees. Next one is reinforced steel. For steel, we required 11,600 rupees that includes bottom slab, side walls and top slab. For walls, it is double double mat, double mat, side reinforcement. So, altogether we required 11,600 rupees. Steel price is very high nowadays. It is rupees 84 per kg. Next, plastering. For plastering, we require 3,100 rupees that includes bottom slab, side walls and top slab. Plastering is done on a square feet basis like uh, if we take this wall this is the length of the wall and this is the height so this wall this wall and similarly this side wall this side wall 
bottom slab and top slab so all together we need 3100 rupees waterproofing is very very important we do waterproofing during concreting as well as after plastering so it helps to prevent the water leakages so for waterproofing we require 7000 rupees that includes bottom slab top slab and side walls next one is labor cost rupees 8 per liter so we need to spend 8 rupees per liter for labor only so that includes shuttering bar bending concreting and other works so all together we get 28000 for this capacity size of water tank we need to spend around 28000 rupees as a labor charge so let's compile all the cost for excavation we require 2250 rupees pcc it is 1600 rupees for concrete it is 16730 rupees for steel it is 11600 rupees for plastering it is 3100 rupees waterproofing 1000 rupees for labor it is 28000 so total cost comes around rupees 70280 this is the total cost for this 3500 liter capacity of water tank we know the total cost so with that we need to add the contractor's profit that is 10% so 10% of 70280 is 7028 rupees so we need to add this contractor's profit to the total cost so finally we get the total cost as 77308 rupees so this is the total cost of construction for 3500 liter capacity of underground sump So from this we can find out the cost per liter that is total cost divided by capacity of water tank we get rupees 22 per liter since all the material price has been increased the cost of construction of water tank also increased next let's look into the cost of construction for brickwork with rcc water tank to construct this rcc with brickwork water tank we require bricks when compared to rcc water tank so bricks we require 850 numbers because outer layer that means half of the wall thickness we are going to construct with the bricks so for this 3500 liter capacity of water tank whatever the size we have chosen for that we require 850 numbers of bricks so at present the price of the brick is 11 rupees per piece so if we consider that we get rupees 9350 rupees only for bricks we need to spend 9350 rupees next let's look into the other cost excavation and pcc cost is similar to rcc water tank brick cost is 9350 this is the uh, extra cost concrete cost is 8365 which is half of the cost of rcc water tank because we are going to construct half uh, thickness of wall with the brick so concrete quantity will get reduced into half so that is why the cost also get reduced into similar to concrete steel quantity also will re get reduced into half because we are going to construct half of the brick wall and only one layer of mat we are going to provide instead of two layers of reinforcement only one layer of reinforcement we are going to provide so steel cost also will get reduced into half so we get 5000 the steel cost is 5800 rupees plastering is similar to rcc water tank 3100 rupees waterproofing is also similar to rcc water tank labor cost is also similar so total cost comes around 65465 rupees with this cost we need to add 10% as a contractor's profit that is 6547 rupees so total cost will become 72000 rupees let's find out the cost per liter that is 72011 rupees divided by 3500 is the capacity of water tank we get rupees 20.57 per liter that means 20 rupees per liter we need to spend if we construct the water tank by using the method of brickwork with rcc for rcc water tank the construction cost is 22 rupees per liter for brickwork with rcc water tank the construction cost is 21 rupees per liter nowadays all the construction material price has been increased so that is why the cost of construction of water tank also has been increased this price will not be same for all the places 
it will differ according to your place and whatever the material you purchase there will not be much difference one or two rupees increase or decrease will be there the same water tank if you construct before one one year or two year you would have constructed with the price of 20 rupees per liter or 19 rupees per liter because now the cost of materials materials and labor cost also got increased so that is why we get this much price for the construction of water tank so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome and do share with your friends if you like this video and if you like the content if the content is very useful to you please click the super thanks button which is shown below the video you have to log in to your email account and you have to click the super thanks button and support the channel and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching